Hello, I'm Dr Amanda Sathyapala. I'm one of the consultant respiratory and sleep physicians at Harefield. Hello, my name is Amna Hoda. I'm a chief clinical physiologist in the respiratory physiology department. This video is designed to show you how to use your sleep study equipment. The sleep study we're going to show you in this video is the one used to look for obstructive sleep apnea syndrome, which is the commonest sleep disorder. It can also give us some information and clues as to other sleep disorders. So, in order to perform the sleep study, you'll be wearing equipment that looks like this. There are five bits to it. There's a recording box held in place with a Velcro strap. The box will be pre-programmed and will record throughout the night by itself. You do not need to push any buttons to turn the machine on or off. Ideally, the box should be on the front of your body because it tells us what position you're lying in. Attached to the box are the rest of the four things using wires and tubing. There are two bands which will be cut to size when you attend your appointment. They are colour coded. You have a blue one that goes around your chest, a yellow one that goes around your abdomen. The bands will stretch as you breathe and they will pick up your breathing pattern. There is a finger probe that measures your oxygen level and your heart rate and nasal prongs, much like the oxygen tubing, but this is picking up your airflow coming from your nose and not giving you anything. This will go into your nostrils and with the tape we provide, so long as you're not allergic to it, you attach the tubing to both cheeks using the tape. I'm now going to put the equipment on to show you exactly how to put it on and where it should go. The first thing I'm going to put on is the recording box. The recording box should go on the front of your body because it tells us what position you're lying in. And it's held in place with a Velcro strap that wraps round your middle. You open the opposite end of the Velcro and it feeds through the loop on the other side of the recording box. That will then go back on itself to secure it and hold it in place throughout the night. The box should be on the front of your body because it tells us what position you're lying in and it will turn on and off by itself so there's no need to push any buttons. It will blanket record all through the night and we will make sense of the data once the device is returned to us. Everything is attached to the device with wires and tubing and they will be left connected when you take the box home. The two bands that will have been cut to size are colour coded. You have a blue one and a yellow one. The blue one will go around your chest, armpit height, the yellow one around your abdomen. To put them on, you fold the clasp in half, align the arrows and pull it apart. That then is passed round behind you and is re-secured, again aligning the arrows and flattening the clasp against your body to hold it in place. Make sure the strap is armpit height. The next one is the yellow one. Again, you fold the clasp in half, align the arrows and it pulls apart and that will go round your abdomen. To do it up, align the arrows and flatten it against your body. As you breathe during the night, these bands will stretch and they pick up your breathing pattern. There is, however, a wire running through them, so ideally you want to wear this over the top of your clothing to create a barrier between you and the device. The next thing to put on, although it doesn't matter which order you put the equipment on, are the nasal prongs. They curve slightly and they curve in towards your nose. So in your nostrils, take the tubing over the top of your ears and take up the slack with the white toggle under your chin. Avoid putting it over your head so it doesn't get tangled around your neck. Using the tape we provide you, if you tape the tubes to both cheeks, This will help secure it and keep it in place. The next bit you're going to put on 
is the finger probe on the end of a very long wire. Feed this through the neck of your clothing, through your sleeve and down your arm. The finger probe then gets attached to your finger. There's a picture of a nail and that's the direction your finger should go into the finger probe. You pinch it, finger goes in there like that and release it. With the wire to the back of your hand, it can go onto any finger, either hand, and you can change fingers during the night if you need to. With the tape we provided, again, so long as you're not allergic to it, you tape the wire to the back of your hand to help secure it in place, but avoid putting anything around the blue finger clip. This is how you should look when you go to bed. If anything comes off during the night, or if you wake up and go to the bathroom, make sure you reattach it, but otherwise try and keep everything in place throughout the night. Once you're awake for the day, you remove the device, place it into the provided box and return it back to the hospital. You can drop it at the main reception before 9am and the device will then be delivered up to the department. If it's after 9am, you bring it up to the respiratory physiology department and give it to a member of staff. Once you return the equipment, the recording will be downloaded and the information forwarded to the clinician that will see you in clinic. They will take into account your symptoms, any symptoms reported by your bed partner and also the results of the sleep recording in order to come up with a diagnosis and also an action plan. Please don't worry if you feel that some of the equipment has come off in the middle of the night and you've had to replace it. Please also do not worry if you feel that the equipment disturbed your sleep and therefore the sleep study would not be representative of a normal night's sleep. In most cases we can get some valuable information from the study in order to make a diagnosis. If there is a problem with the recording we will contact you and ask you to repeat the sleep study.